Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Amber Geiger situation. So if you guys do not know, once again, Amber Geiger is trending. And a lot of people were sending me this story because I had covered the whole Botham Jean situation um, several times throughout the whole case because the entire court case was literally just mind boggling mind draining and extremely frustrating and I was very frustrated with how the family handled themselves concerning this woman and of course you know also Tigro Damas strikes again because I told everybody this was not even 10 months ago this woman hasn't even done a year in prison yet it's only been 10 months and I told everybody back then that all the foolishness that the family engaged in that the judge engaged in, the cop that was in the courtroom stroking her hair, all that foolishness was going to lead way to her being able to file an appeal. And guess what? As of August 8th, she filed her appeal. So before we even get into the appeal, I want to go ahead and play some flashbacks for you guys here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys what both of Mujan's father had to say. And then, you know, my response on Instagram to all the foolishness. And then, of course, you know, when I called it all out, I was attacked. I was called hateful by a lot of Christians. You know, I was called evil, told I was going to hell. How dare I not forgive her when the family has forgiven her? So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys two flashbacks in one, okay? Two for the price of damn one on this good Sunday. So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I wish her well, and I will pray for her family and pray for her as well. So that is coming from the father of both them, Jean, okay? So this is what I wrote on Instagram. Because I was just, I, 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 I literally feel like I'm living in the upside down world. Like, can the kids from Stranger Things come and beam me up? Because this can't be life right now. So what I wrote on Instagram is this. I said, okay, this Botham Jean situation is weird and sickening. I have never witnessed in Superior Court a black man or woman get such royal treatment like Amber did during this trial. The black court officer hand brushing Amber's hair. Botham's daddy telling the press that he would like to become her friend at some point. Botham's brother not wanting her to serve any jail time for his brother's murder. And then to cry and hug his brother's murderer. The majority black jury given 10 years, which is 89 years lower than the maximum and 12 years lower than the average minimum. The black judge giving Amber a hug along with a motivational speech. The fuck that I just witnessed? Was this a movie trailer for Get Out Part 2 or nah? Shaking my damn head at all this dysfunctional fuckery. So that is what I posted this morning. And I'm just, I'm just really frustrated. And I understand you guys. I, I, y'all know I have a big heart, okay? I understand forgiveness. I understand, you know, being able to, you know, let go and, and let God. But not when it comes to murder. I'm sorry. And now when it comes to a murder like this, this is one thing that this was like, let's say, you know, an accident on the road, like a car accident, you know, because people get into car accidents. Maybe the person was distracted or they took their eyes off the road and they crash into somebody and they kill them. I could see that possible, you know, that possible kind of forgiveness. But this woman literally walked into an apartment that was clearly not hers because her apartment and both them jeans apartment looked like two different ladies. Now, what I found really funny is how many so-called Christians chose to attack me off of my Botham Jean podcast, where I was not feeling what the brother did, the daddy did, you know what I'm saying, the, the police officer, nor the judge. I thought it was tacky, it was uncalled for, and they made Amber Geiger look like she was the damn victim. You got the brother up there crying, can I please just hug her? Somebody needs to turn that into a damn gif or a meme or something. Turn it into a damn remix. Can I please hug her? Can I please hug her? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I just please hug her? I mean, damn. 
all that begging he did, and now we got some more shit coming down the pipeline, okay? But first and foremost, let me go ahead and say this. Because one thing I notice, a lot of you Christians like to say, I'm going to be praying for you. Y'all want to call me evil, condemn me to hell. I'll be praying for you. So let me explain to each and every last one of y'all who let those comments tell about you're going to be praying for me because I'm wrong for not forgiving Amber Geiger. I had to pull out the damn brush on y'all. Keep your damn prayers, okay? Don't pray for me. Pray for your damn self, okay? Because I don't accept prayers from any and everybody, okay? I'm prayed up, I'm blessed, and I'm highly favored, and I don't need nobody who's going to tell me that I'm evil or who's condemning me to hell to pray for my soul. Pray for your own damn soul, okay? How about that? I do not forgive Amber Geiger. I don't agree with what both of Jean's brother did, his father did, what the, the, the court police officer did, and especially what the judge who's supposed to be impartial... I don't agree with what she did at all, okay? And I said what I said, and I stand by what the hell I said. And I'm not here to kumbaya with none of y'all, okay? I'm here to speak my truth as I see it, and I see a lot of messed up stuff in this case, and the fact that Joshua Brown has now been found dead as of this past Friday is not sitting well with my spirit at all. Now, what's even more disturbing is that Amber Geiger was basically um, charged, found guilty, sentenced to 10 years, and I said in my podcast that the way these people were moving and the things they were doing in the courtroom, they're going to make it a lot easier for her to submit her appeal and be able to get out in less than five years, okay? You got the brother talking about he don't want to see her in jail. You got the damn daddy talking about he wants to be friends with her when she gets out. Just all this goofy, mush mouth, kumbaya bullshit, okay? All right, so you guys have seen both of those flashbacks and you guys heard what I had to say. It's very funny how prolific that was back then and now everything that I stated is definitely coming to pass so like I told you guys earlier um as of the other day her appeal made national news and a lot of people are talking about it um basically she got a sweetheart deal like let's keep that real she walked into somebody's apartment claiming she assumed it was her own and killed that person and she only got 10 years where if that was anybody else, they would have got at least 25 years. So instead of her at least being grateful that all she got was 10 years from the judge, she wants to appeal it. She doesn't think that she needs to be. In. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Both of John's mother says she is furious tonight over Amber Geiger's appeal. The former Dallas police officer wants a court to overturn her murder conviction and 10-year prison sentence for killing John in his own apartment. John's mother told Scott Gordon that if anything changes, Geiger should get a longer sentence. I feel furious about it, I'll tell you. Botham John's mother, Allison John, speaking from her home in St. Lucia, reacting to Amber Geiger's appeal. It really made me question the nerve of Amber Geiger and her attorneys to even think of wanting to file an appeal. In a long legal brief, Geiger's attorneys argue it was a mistake to convict Geiger of murder, claiming the charge should have been criminally negligent homicide. When they bring the, these lame issues, it really shows that they have, you know, they, 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 they've gotten, they've, they're low. They have stooped very low for Amber Geiger. Geiger was sentenced to 10 years after an extraordinary trial full of raw emotion. The former cop had just arrived home, still in uniform, after a long day at work. She says she shot John, believing he was an intruder in her apartment, not realizing she had mistakenly walked into his. And can you kill someone in the comfort of their home and just say, I'm sorry, just have a, 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 an apology and you just get away with it? I mean, where in the world does that happen? The John family's attorney says he doesn't think the appeal will be successful. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, within the brief, uh, I think the jury had the, all the evidence uh, that was before them, and I, I think the, the right decision was made. Today is my 31st wedding anniversary. Angry over the appeal, Botham Jones mother says she and her husband can't celebrate their wedding anniversary, even as others call to congratulate them. In the one call that I cannot get is from my son, Botham. That's it. I'm in pain. It's hurting. And the family may have to relive their pain again in a lawsuit against Geiger and the city, still in its early stages. Scott Gordon, NBC5. Geiger's attorneys handling the appeal did not respond to our request for comment, and neither did the Dallas Police Association. The city declined to issue a statement saying Geiger is no longer an employee. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. 
And a lot of things bother me with that. Now, you see both the Majan's mother. She's very upset. Let me say this first, okay? I do feel bad that the family lost their son and they lost a brother, okay? I definitely feel bad about that. I don't think anybody should lose their life in the manner in which he lost his life. But let me keep this real. I don't have a lot of sympathy for the family when it comes to this situation with Amber Geiger. Because they showed their ass. Not the mother. The mother wasn't out there, you know, two-stepping, cooning, and fetching. But the father and the brother specifically were. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.